right, and welcome back to another video for another fun little rabbit hole I have found, and that is the B25 Acid Rain World figures. Uh, this is the stealth set. This is uh, this was exclusive to Comic Con last year, um, I believe, and uh, or at least conventions. I don't know if it, if it was also available at any overseas conventions but it was a limited run they did sell some on their website and one of the things right off the bat is it's it's a remarkably more interesting uh neat looking color scheme than even i had expected now i thought like his his bandana his robot i call it a robot bandana and i love this head sculpt of having this little robot bandana versus the uh the jungle type here that just has the open canopy now the open canopy on this one does open freely whereas here the, the bandana can kind of lift up and, and, but it blocks the, the clear part of the canopy from opening. But um, it, it kind of makes his head look like the uh, the cute little robot that the uh, janitor dude had to resuscitate in Batteries Not Included. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you should go watch Batteries Not Included. Anyway, so yeah, so I thought that I thought this a lot of pictures made this look like it was a lot more orange than it is. And I thought, like, well, that's not very stealthy to be, like, all in mute colors and then have this orange... And it's actually kind of a, a everything on this is a little bit more muted. Um, this is actually kind of a, a, a muted gunmetal type color, um, you know, muted gray. I, I thought it was I thought it was more of a muted olive drab kind of green, like like like, like I said, like a darker toned version of the Marine Seizure. And it's actually not. I mean, this is this is kind of a muddy brown, and I can see how it would be more stealthy because you can see next to the Marine Seizure, it's much less vibrant. And then the orange bandana and the colors are. It's a, it's a really nice black and dark grayish, almost brownish gray color scheme. It it, it it does strike me as being slightly you know a little stealthy. It's it's hard to describe, but it, it, it's 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 a neat muting of the color scheme. He does come with his own speeder, uh, which again can clip onto the back. We found a couple of little points here, and he's the. Uh, not a whole lot of thing. They, they didn't come with individual weapons for the uh, the figures like the other ones did. Uh, in the case of the other ones, I found a way to snap their little pistols onto these clips here on the uh, on the on the heel foot pieces uh, when they're being <laughs> driven around like that. Just as a way to store them, because uh, like I said, the laurel has a little, little clip back here that you can clip the pistol into. So yeah, the little the little uh, speeders are the same. You run around. Legs come down, the heel folds back, and this little tab locks the wheel in place to keep it sturdy. And uh, then you've got the same 21 point of articulation pilot there on the, uh, I'll put his heel down, on the uh, drive on the speeder, and the little machine Gatling gun here on the front and the headlight. So, again, aside from the color scheme, essentially the same toy we've been playing with. Now, one of the things I like here on the pilots is. You can see there's the muted brown with the three dots here on the speeder, and his pilot has the matching three dots on his uh, faceplate. And here on the stronghold, it's the same thing, five dots on the bandana, and then uh, five dots on his head. Now, one of the things I like, I like again, we think, why do you need a giant mech for a stealth mission? And I like to think that he's just kind of the backup, like he comes in, the speeder clips onto his back, he deploys it, his brother, Three Dots, goes in doing some reconnaissance, but if Three Dots gets in trouble, here comes Big Papa Punch, and he just takes him out stealthily with hands. I like his hands. I may swap his hands out onto the uh, the Marine Seizure. We'll see. That's something you can do, like the interchangeability. Of this Also, it doesn't come with any of the connector pieces, although I have several of them from all the other figures, so uh, I can still do plenty of the, inter the intercombining stuff. Has the same little toe hook, so as long as you put the stealthy one in front, nobody can spot them. No matter how many you have, that's the rule. But uh, so yeah, here's a here's a train of three strongholds all together, getting pulled back and forth. And one of the things too that I forgot, that I didn't mention, I don't think in my other one, is that you can pop these little. Uh, the interconnectability, you can pop these off. They use the same peg holes as the other things. And you can pull this bandana off. So if you want to just have a solid black stronghold without the bandana, make him even more stealthy and have the canopy be able to open, you can do that. And then you could give him the jungle guns or any of the other compatible weapons that can plug in here to the side of the head. Like if you wanted to take the Laurel's cannon, 
even with the mount, you plug it in there, plug that into his arm, plug it into the side of the tank. You give it that, and then if you leave the mount on, he's got a little bit of extra articulation there to aim his cannon versus just plugging it straight into the side of the head, although you can do that too. I'm not going to get into all the crazy combinations, but uh, yeah, you can have a little chain weapon there on your tank. back on the laurel now the stealth again right now is just at the stronghold and the speeder i'll go ahead and start turning him in back into a, a mech uh so we're still uh, like the sand team the desert team i think is still the only team that currently has all of the pieces the speeder the laurel and the stronghold in a unified color scheme the laurel you got uh you can get in the desert colors or the uh, the blue rabbit colors here uh the stronghold comes in all four you can get jungle marine stealth and sand uh the speeder comes in all four and then jungle just has the stronghold in the speeder so uh maybe one day we'll get one of the uh the blue blue strongholds i'd love to get a whole mar mar marine seizure this color scheme right now only has the stronghold out and i'd love to get matching speeders and laurels in this tan and red and orange and green color scheme because I really think that's the most dynamic of them. I wouldn't mind getting a laurel in the stealth colors as well. So yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll just pop him again. You can see there's not anything new on these. He's, he's, it's a standard square head with the dots, um, but the same points of articulation that we've already gone over. Um, and the, the, the stronghold here transforms exactly the same way, where you just flip this out. I'll flip up the, uh, helps me get under here and flip up these panels. Up under there. Flip the hand out and tab the rest of the arm from the tread. It's just a little tab back here, it tabs into the tread. And the tread itself untabs from the back here as well as there's a tab here and a tab here on the side of the tread, so you want to pull it out. You can see the, those two tabs here that go into the tread on the front. Bring those down, bring the whole waist piece down like that so the grill's facing forward. Flip the foot down. I don't know if I went into the, all the articulation before last time, but there's a hinge, a dual hinge up here on the tread that allows it to swing out as well as rotate forward and back. And it's the same situation, it may just be a ball joint down here. Nope, it's a hinge on the uh, the lower tread. Well, that's, that gives it some ankle tilt as well as some rotational there for transformation and posing. So the treads themselves have a decent amount of uh, wiggle room in the combined modes. Not combined modes, but in the mech modes. And even in tank mode, honestly, and he's just got the little guns under here like the jungle uh, mech did. And he's got the jungle mech arms uh, here. And again, no weaponry because he's just supposed to be stealth. He just comes in and takes out the bad guys. Again, the pop a punch on the, uh, if this guy gets in trouble. But yeah, the treads I'm talking about, like even here in, because they're on opposite sides, uh, sometimes the, you'll get a stronghold that won't be sitting flat. And it's not that because you did anything wrong necessarily during the transformation, it's just the treads haven't lined up. So you may have to wiggle those a little bit to get them to sit flat. But usually it just takes a little press down on top and they'll even themselves out. So yeah, he's got the swiveling head, the ratcheting arms in both directions, bicep swivel, hinge elbows, a little bit of forearm swivel. You kind of have to, if you slide that out of the way, you get a little bit more range of motion because that tab will get up in there. But you can get a little rotational bit here. Wrist swivel as well as some up and down on the wrist. The ball joint at the thumb, index finger with a knuckle joint, and then the two remaining fingers together with a knuckle joint. Kind of got ninja, well, I guess the, now they got four fingers instead of three, so not ninja turtle hands, but. And then you got the, the hips, which also, look, uh, the, hip, the hips are on a ball joint, and then you've got the hinges, as mentioned, in the legs. So you can get some pretty decent and sturdy poses. You can make them, like you said, we showed off the one where he has like six arms, and they're pretty sturdy the more you add to them. One of the things that I, I missed uh, in my first review is that I, I showed how the speeders can clip on to the, uh, the back of the uh, stronghold. And what I missed was that there actually are uh, more than just that. 
there's clips here on the arms. You could you could attach them. I don't know how effective that is, but uh, you can carry a couple of them around on the arms here, as well as one on the back. And you can see they're pretty sturdy, no matter how much weight you attach to them. But like there he is with like he's carrying three speeders around. Whoops. Okay, so lean him forward a little bit. I didn't have him there, but uh, <laughs> you can have him carry all those things around. There's not a whole lot of other stuff that I see on the figures that I have that uses those clips. It's just these speeders. But if you want to, you can clip them on, even in uh, in vehicle mode. Like I said, if you wanted to carry a couple more around on your stronghold, you clip them onto the sides as well when they're in, in their tank mode. So a lot of, and, and there's even a clip here. I don't know, again, right now with what I have available, I mean, I guess if you want him as like belly armor, I, I don't know what uh, benefit to that is. Like with the pieces I've got, those, those are only clips like that that can clip on there, but I'm sure, I know there's more stuff coming in the line. There's some really cool stuff coming in the line, and uh, I'm looking forward to that hitting. They showed off a bunch of new stuff. The past weekend or the weekend before, just recently. Uh, that's got me excited. But yeah, there is, like I said, it's a beautiful color scheme. I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing what comes next. These are some neat stuff. Like I said, these two guys are my favorite right here. Uh, partly because of the head and, and partly because of their color schemes. And like I said, I want to get another Laurel because I want to take this guy and give him two of these Laurel guns with the, with the belt on each arm. So I found a way to like have, have the gun attach up here and then have the... How did I do it? Just without the armature, although I guess I could do it with the armature, but I I've been taking these and like attaching them. Where did I have these attached? Like attaching this here and then... Oh, yeah, with, without this on. And then bringing this around. and Was it there or did I attach it down to the leg? It had to come... It had, oh, okay. You can, you can swap this uh, so this go instead of folding up or folding down, it goes up, so it changes the direction of the fold. Like plugging this in and bringing it around. How did I do that? I had I had this attached up here somewhere. Did I, did I just plug this in up here? I may have just plugged this in up here, although it's harder to do on this side with the screws. What's that happen? Oh, okay. Maybe here I was on this arm. I had this on here like this, and then attached this behind it, like that, so he can have the cannon on his arm, as well as I, I did some way where I had the, I think it was in tank mode. I had it attached here. Right, I had I had the gun attached here, and then I had the 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 belt ammo feed attached to the tread, like here. I can actually show you on this guy. I had the gun attached to it on this side here. And then plugged in the belt down here, so he had some armament as well. You could attach it to the head if you pop this off. You could attach it to the belt here and the gun up here. However you wanted to do it. But yeah, I want to get two laurels, or get one more laurel, so I can give him a couple of uh, cool arm cannons. And if you wanted to, you could take the whole belt off with even without the belt. You just attach. He uses arm cannons on either arm. Just so he's got some armament in case he needs it. Although, again, he's supposed to be the stealth guy, so maybe he's just supposed to punch things. But anyway, there is the B25 Acid Rain World speeder and stronghold from the stealth color scheme. Really, really looking forward to what comes next from these guys because these are a lot of fun. And like I said, a lot more affordable and, uh, and, and more space efficient than some of the original Acid Rain stuff that caught my eye a few years ago, so happy to have him. Welcome to the team there, Stealth Guys. B25, Stealth Stronghold and Speeder.